Hey there, if you follow us here on our YouTube channel or on our website, 5mrealty.com, you know uh, my name is Scott Talley. I am the broker here at 5 Market Realty, where we do market updates for you on the Athens area real estate market. We also provide videos of new listings that we have and just general information on the Athens area, Oconee County real estate market. So if any of that interests you, be sure to click subscribe. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead and start uh, January's 1st. Uh, market update of the year where we get to talk what happened in the full entirety of 2023. So happy new year to you if I haven't said it already, but we're here. For me, it's Friday afternoon, January 5th. Maybe you'll see this Monday or something like that next week. But now we've got to be able to look at the whole year of 2023. I'm going to go over that and I'm going to I'm going to hit some of the usual things that we do, but I'll, there's some more important things I'm going to try to get to a little quicker. But we'll review Athens Real Estate 2023 and kind of discuss the different climate that we're in now. So let's get to the first slide. As you know, we track four things in the two counties, Clark County and Oconee, total, of new list, total amount of new listings, days on market, homes for sale, and the price that the average price sold. So here we're going to take a quick look. These trends have kind of stayed the same all year. As you can see, the total new listings was down almost 11% for the combined counties over the last year. It's going to be more percent down when you look at 2021. Days on market, sort of the big story. Now, 42 days. And it's even more in the month of December. So we're getting back to some more normal market trends there. And then if you look here, big thing, average sold price up 7.6%. That's a lot more in line with normal appreciation. And that's even with some big property sales that are driving it. So I think we're seeing some things return to normal. And we're even seeing the home sales stay the same. We're tracking behind 2021 record historic year of volume, only down about 16%, which is a lot better than the 30% that we've been down before. Month of December, last three years, again, the total new listings only down about 8% over last year. December is always a slower month, but there's a few things that weren't slower. We'll talk about that in a minute. The average days on market for the month of December is up 62 days. That's average. That's what we should usually see is two months. So for the month of December, we have saw a 62-day days on market. Average sold price, 483000 Now, I will say that shows a 16% increase over last year, but we saw a few big high value property sell in the month of December, especially in Clark County. And I think that drove that number up a lot. Without those outliers, we we'll probably would have wound up a little closer to 10%. And then the total number of sales, I actually look at this, a good sign. We saw a strong end of the year here in 2023, and there's a lot of good signs for 2024 we'll talk about in a minute. But we actually outpaced last December. Now, is that anywhere near what it was in 2021? No, significantly behind at 46%. But we're getting ahead of the doldrums of real estate transactions, which was last year, last winter, last early spring. One thing we do a lot here is we combine Clark and Oconee County into one market because a lot of ways they are. But I did want to take one moment to break this out and sort of show you the differences in this market. So let's look here. These are the sales comparisons. Athens on the left, Oconee on the right. You've got total new listings in Clark County, 1,300, 552 in Oconee, 58% difference. Days on market in Clark, 38 days, 52 in Oconee, 27% difference. And then look at these price differences, 383 in Clark to 622 in Oconee. Massive difference there, as you can see, at almost 40%. And then the total homes sold, 130, excuse me, 1,037 to 421. So we do combine these markets together because it really helps us get more of a whole market into these two counties. But I did want to take one time to break it out and let you see what the real differences are. If you live here in the area, you understand what the differences are because you're, you're here local. But if you're watching this video as someone that's thinking about moving the area, it might help you to understand the big differences. Uh, Oconee County has a lot larger properties, larger tracks, and the average price is going to be a lot higher when you get into that county. Uh, monthly inventory of homes. This is sort of the narrative that I wanted to get to. Sorry, it took me four minutes. But what, how the climate is different as we head into 2024. So right here, you can see we've tracked the inventory of homes. This was done on today, January 5th. They're combining Clark and Oconee County, residential income and residential homes. Only in the Athens MLS, I got 266 homes for sale. Now, the thing is, that is well above 2023. Now, are we down from December, down a little bit from November? Yeah, because at the end of the year, we see a lot of expired listings. It's just very natural to put that expired listing date on the 31st. But 266 homes for sale relative to 201 a year ago, 179, 180, 191. We're going to have more inventory, folks, and that's a good thing. And we're, we're going to talk about some other things that are changing the market. Monthly uh, total sales, again, you can see the trends before we show this, show this to you all the time. 
June and July, spring is going to be the height. But compare November and December now to December and January and, and this time last year. We're actually outperforming now in December what we did. I know it's only 20 properties or so, but that's a big difference. And I can tell you, we felt it in the market in the last 45 days of the year. There was a shift of people kind of saying it's time to act because, you know, the rates are what they are. But we've got some good news there to talk about, too. Balanced market is what we've talked about, folks. We're pretty much there. This is the monthly absorption rate. If you follow these videos, what I do is I take the amount of homes for sale in the, in the Clark and Oconee County area and then use the number of how many homes are being sold to give us the months of inventory. And right now we're almost to four months. I also said we had 60 days of market time back in December. So what's happening there? Well, here's one thing we're going to show you. I went back and decided to pull the yearly expired listings. If you don't understand what an expired listing is, that's a listing that went on the market. It never got sold. And then it went off the MLS and came off of Zillow or Realtor.com. In some cases, a property might be listed over and over and continually expire. But look at this. This is in 2021 for the entirety of the year in the Athens MLS. Only 68 properties were expired listings. Go to 2022, 130 of them were expired listings. And then now, as we got to the end of 2023, this is the big number. We had 307 expired listings, 2023. Obviously, that's a significant gain in part of the story. Now, I will say a lot of those listings were over $900,000. A lot of those listings were new construction. And some of those listings were actually multiple times. So you might have had a property represent three or four of those expired listings. But that's a significant change in the market. And that's not really bad news because what it means is people can't just make up a number and get it. And that's what we're seeing is the market has cooled a little bit and that creates some opportunity. So factors to understand. Let's do this real quick. Depreciation cooled down. It did not go down. So the whole talk a year ago was what's going to happen with these interest rates? Are they going to go sky high? And they did get pretty high. But actually now, as we go to number two, the Federal Reserve is shifting that conversation. You know, for the entirety of 2023, they were talking about how they were going to keep being have upward pressure on rates. And they did that until very recently. We've actually seen some people get down below six percent with some prop, uh, some brokers here in town. And the talk heading into this election year is that we might see rates come down. And I, I can tell you that more inventory is coming from the phones that ring here, from the people that have got plans, from the listings that we have coming. There's going to be more inventory and the interest rate climate should not be as scary. Overall, too more normal market conditions. I've talked about a couple of things. One, more days on market. That means more time, less competition. Uh, there has been more expired listings, so pricing has to be done right. If you are thinking about getting in the market, do keep in mind, once the spring gets here and if interest rates come down a little bit, like they're kind of talking that they could, no one can predict the future, but they might, then it's going to get more competitive. So, you know, if you do need to do something, keep that in mind and just know that right now, we are a full year away, and I think uh, real estate transaction-wise, we have through the tunnel. We can, we're can we out of the tunnel and into some light finally, and we're better off a year ago than we were a year ago today. So lastly, one of the last things I want to leave you with after sitting here with me for over eight minutes is our group, 5M Realty. Uh, that's our group right there. Um, after 2023 is over, I was able to look at our local MLS and pull the ranking reports. And we're a small group. We're an independent firm that's not associated with a franchise. And in our MLS, this group of people that is a small group, not everybody full time, out of 371 offices in the Athens MLS came in 10th. Now, that is fantastic. But then when we pull them out and say only Clark County, which is where our office resides, this group of people came in six for the entirety of 371 offices. I'm really proud of that group. That's a small group that carries a big bat. Folks, if you need help uh, buying, selling, if you're just thinking about it, even if you're having to talk about renovations and you need to talk to a professional about it, reach out, info at 5mrealty.com. That's our number below. Uh, happy New Year. Hope your year is getting off to a great start. Again, uh, feel free to reach out and be sure to click subscribe. Have a great week. Thanks for listening to me talk for, oh, nine, nine minutes now. Have a great one.